seconds. <laughs> wow, a wave like that. <laughs> back to another vlog so hey y'all so it's back to another video <laughs> today's april 24th friday so i don't have much planned for today but one thing i definitely need to do is go to the bank i bought so much stuff off amazon yesterday it's ridiculous but i had to buy some school supplies for school and then i bought like a laptop case and a new book bag and all that type of stuff so my bank account looking kind of hurt so i got one of my checks for my taxes my refund so i'm gonna go ahead and put that in my account to make it look a little bit better because that's kind of sad so it's literally like 9 30 i never be up this early if you know me I'm never up this early but for some reason i'm up i have on this shirt that i got from miami it says miami at the back but i'm about to put on my bean to lisa sweater so i'm going just like this let me get my purse get the check get my phone and my keys are up at the front of the house let's go a lot of states are opening back up um i know south carolina that's why i'm staying at right now um, it's supposed to be opening up stores and stuff and no, I'm not going you guys like I'm not going to the store um, The only stores I'd be going to is like Dollar Tree, Dollar General and the grocery store I'm not one of people who is that desperate to go to TJ Maxx when I'm gonna go during like a quarantine like it ain't happening I'm gonna go ahead and focus on driving so we can get this money in the bank Honey, money in the bank, Hey, money in the bank Deposit slip. Oh. And <laughs> About to just head home. It's super ugly outside. Like, ugh. so I'm probably just about to chill. Who's calling me? So that was my homegirl, Sudaria. She's been, I think she's been like, what, two vlogs? She invited me over to hang out and stuff later on. So I'll probably do that later. So I actually do have more plans than I thought I did. But um, that's not till like six. So right now it's 10. So I'm probably about to, I'm kind of hungry, but I really don't feel like cook, cooking for real. Should I cook guys? Maybe some eggs and bacon? Yeah, I need to wash dishes too. Okay, so I got some eggs, some cheese, and turkey bacon. I'm gonna use this one pot for everything because I'm not in the mood to wash all these dishes. I want to make some cookies, but I ain't got no cookies. I want to make s'mores for real, because we have like a grill, a mini grill on our back porch. And I really want to make some s'mores, because can't you like, can't a grill be just like fire? Beat this. We do have two end pieces of this bread, so I guess I'm about to use these end pieces. I hate end pieces so much, but this is all I have. So I have to use this. Mmm, it looks so good. So I definitely put my bacon on top of those eggs. So hopefully it doesn't burn, but it's turkey bacon. I'm just gonna fry it on both sides. All right, looks like our toast is done. Ooh, this thing is hot. Oh, we gotta put some butter on that, honey. I'm bacon over there doing its thing. Look at that. Oh, that toast look good. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Not the best cooker, guys. Probably should have definitely uh, cleaned out the pan before I put the bacon in, but it's fine. I want to taste this toast. Mm. That butter is so good. Mm. Guys, this is our breakfast. We got some eggs, we got some bacon, and then some toast. And if you're real bougie, you can make it like a little breakfast, little sandwich. So let's taste like they do on like <laughs> Food Network. So we have the egg. Ooh, Ooh that's good. Mmm, 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 mmm. <laughs> the bacon, the turkey bacon. I would have cooked this bacon a little bit further if my pan wasn't burning. Mm. Then we got the toast. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So good. 
<laughs> all right guys so i got into a little new setup because i used to eat and lay down way too often i got this little table for recording makeup videos so now i eat here my tv's right here i've been watching um what's it called little fires or whatever on hulu so i'm about to watch that if y'all need a new show i definitely recommend what is it called little fires everywhere all right y'all so my brother's cooking on the grill again hey bubba hey youtube hey, hey youtube come here bubba <laughs> so I made some fried green beans and a special sauce. You like it? The sauce is like ranch, soy sauce, ketchup, teriyaki sauce, sweet and sour sauce, and a dash of hot sauce. <laughs> is it good, Bubba? They're really good. My mama got them from uh, Walmart. It's a great day for a cookout. All right, y'all, so I'm actually heading to the store because we don't have any sides. We have all meats, but no sides. So I'm headed to pick up some um, baked beans, corn, and I think that's it. So I'm heading to Food Lion up the street. Okay, so I got my mask on. So let's go in the store, get what we need, and get the freak out. Okay, so I got this stuff. Now I'm looking for marshmallows. Um, I'm gonna do these ones. But I do wanna make some cookies. So I'm gonna get some cookie stuff. You all probably can hear me. I'm gonna get some cookie stuff. I do want to make cookies. Okay, so I bought the stuff for the s'mores. Might have had one. We got the s'mores stuff. Got some lettuce to go with the burgers. Got some sausage. Some chips. show you guys two packages that I got today so this is from Amazon this is the Yardley um, aloe and avocado soap I wanted to try this out um, I really like Yardley then I got this now um, apricot oil is I just need a oil for body care for hair care and whatever so I got this one I think it was like five dollars I follow this guy on Instagram and I'll have his page on the screen but his name is ace I think ace metaphor and I really really love his page he does uh, lives and stuff and he just talks about a lot of good stuff about how to find yourself worth you know what things about men that you need to know whatever so he had a little bundle deal where he gave five of his books for forty dollars and he also signed them so i got this one ace of hearts it's like a bundle deal the don't waste my time handbook so it just has stuff in here the broke dude you know just tips for girls on how to keep that game up with the dating scene queens don't settle and then the future wife handbook so just tell like little, like you know little stuff we've been through everything you know type of thing and then the breakup book how to avoid leave and recover from negative relationships so i'm gonna read this one first because you know why i'm single like yeah so i'm super excited about these books eight our food i didn't record us eating um but it was really really good i also did make the s'mores the s'mores are really really good as well i'm super super tired i know i've been up freaking all freaking day so i'm just about to chill and relax and probably watch a little bit more of that show i was watching earlier and then i'm going to probably like get ready to get in the shower and stuff later on um i'm probably not going over to my friend's house because it's already six it's 6 40 so nah i had so much fun today this day was way more adventurous than i thought it would be okay y'all so i'm about to try out this soap how good this stuff works i feel like it's gonna work really good i'm gonna take a really good shower too because girl i've been outside all day i don't got a good tan so i'm gonna go get in the shower i'm gonna try out the soap then i'm gonna come back to you guys and we can see how well i like the soap okay so i just got the shower my shower was amazing it's like i feel like one of those soaps you use for moisture and the fragrance and not so much of the cleansing properties but i can definitely tell that my skin is really really soft it does feel super hydrated so i can really tell for oil is good but how it performs on my feet so it doesn't have a smell which i'm really sad it's thicker than coconut oil oil mixed in with my regular body lotion the oil is not super heavy it really does more moisturize your skin and I feel like it really does sink into the skin really well even though it is a thicker oil our skincare is done and as you can tell my face looks really good even though I do have some 
problem areas over here it's still a little super glowy but anyway i'll see you guys in the morning have a good night bye good morning y'all oh my gosh i'm so tired and i just woke up i'm making some coffee right now i can tell by how i'm feeling today that i'm probably not gonna do nothing i did finish the, the hulu show it's really, really good I hope to have a second season So I actually decided I'm probably about to do some, not really yoga, but like some stretches. And I downloaded this new album last night. I really like her music. It's like the perfect type of music to listen to. If you just want some like little melody type of vibe. Her name is Alina Baraz right here. So if you want to check her out, I recommend, I like her. Okay, I just got done with my meditation and stretching. Right now, I'm about to look at my book list for school and figure out what books I need. I'm watching Ace right now. So I'm gonna show you guys his page. He's the person I got the book from. And right now he's talking. If this somebody asks for a threesome, does that mean that the man love you or not? Into what you're into and find somebody that is into those certain things. So if you're one of those people that that's an absolute no-no for you, make sure it's verbalized and that that person respects it. I haven't talked to y'all literally all day, but all I did earlier was go and clean out my storage unit. That would have been some great footage, but I was lazy and I left my camera at home and I did not feel like coming back to get it. But my storage unit has like all the extra stuff from my old apartment. And I just went in and just kind of organized stuff to know what I want to bring to school with me. Doesn't Don't know exactly when I'm going to move, but I kind of just want to already have that situated. But right now I'm just watching some YouTube and I'm texting Brie. You know, that's my best friend. There's probably nothing else I'm gonna do today. She got accepted to a uh, law school so say yay Brie congrats congratulate Brie down in the comment section right now my girl going to law school we're gonna be so far from each other I'm gonna go visit her and she's gonna definitely come visit me um but we're both about to move out of state to you know do what we've been dreaming about doing since high school like whatever we say we're gonna do we gonna do baby okay that's just how we is and that's why she's my bestie but yeah so I'm just chilling it's like 8 14 at night so i guess i'll see y'all some rains later oh i did take off my nails i did because i said um i need to get used to having my stubbies um because we can't have acrylics in school but when i went through my storage unit i may share my storage unit in next week's vlog but literally i have i bought so much stuff from my apartment like to decorate and stuff over the last few months that i have literally almost every decoration i could ever think of all i really need is like and i have so many sheets i didn't know i had so many freaking sheets so all i need is like i want to plant it can be fake or it can be real so i want to plant and i need a, a bathroom set so i may try to find a bathroom set online but i need like i want silver and pink bathroom decorations i need to find that but other than that i have pretty much everything that i need for my apartment which is crazy that's what you do when you pre-plan life is less hectic so good and no i'm not sitting at my little thing too lazy but i just have some ribs mac and cheese mashed potatoes and then some shrimps i'm super excited mm -hmm. this is from fact i found two youtube uh channels that i love so much they teach me so freaking much and they've taught me so much including ace metaphor that's the male perspective though they have taught me so much um to the female perspective and i cannot be more appreciative so i want to put you guys up on game so the first girl is called the feminine fancy she was the first page that i found and she's like around my age and then the other girl I just recently found her. Her name is Miss Feminine. They're both like targeted towards black women or women of color. This is her channel, living how, what you want in the future. Like, I feel like a lot of people say, oh, I can, you know, I can get this whenever or I can change whenever, but they just really show me that like changing and altering myself now has really helped me and it's gonna help me in the future. Like, this is just the type of man that I want. Like, how can I say it? Like, I want a man that's at a certain statue. 
is that a word that's at like a certain level right and i feel like a lot of times we down those standards because we feel like we can't get that type of man right so then we date people who really we don't really like or they don't really channel what we want like when i think about my husband i don't think about somebody who's money hungry or somebody who's just hustle 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 is all about the hustle like you could be all about a hustle but all but also be about your family like spend time with your family and stuff you know i don't know and just smart and charismatic and teach me stuff i can teach him stuff you know can communicate knows how to communicate his emotions and know how to help me deal with mine like i don't know i feel like a lot of women especially black women feel like they can't acquire the type of man they truly truly want and don't think that because you can and they're out there they are we just have to act like the type of man we want we gotta stop lowering our standard in dating these guys or let me say not say dating but entertain these guys that we know are below our standards honestly <laughs> that's so bad but honestly that that's literally what it is honestly we be dating men and entertaining men that's below our standards it's time to get your standards back stop lowering them because you feel like what you want is not out there because it is like i said it's gonna come to you at the perfect time so stop lowering your standards i've done it too okay done it and i'm done and some stuff i just cannot settle for you know what i'm saying and a big person in my life somebody i want to create another human being with gonna have to just be 75 percent what i want you know and men do the same thing honey don't think don't ever think be the girl who go home to see mama i do want to wash my face um but i want to show you guys a product that i've been using i got this honey love facial wash um right here and it works super super good i have the website link down below but it's supposed to help with like your natural glow and your skin complexion Okay, so I made my tea. I need to stew. What is it called? Brew? I don't know. Kind of fouled my nails earlier, but I'm just filing them down. They don't really have a shape right now because I just took the nails off. Okay, so I'm gonna put on this Super Strength Nail Builder, LA Colors. So this is how my nails look now. They're not horrible, but they could look better. Yeah, that looks different. You can see that looks way healthier. This side does. Good morning to Morgan's, good lord. I'm outside because, I don't know, I want to sit outside on our deck today. I look hurt, but I just got done reading my Bible, my devotion and stuff, and it definitely hit home on the dot. So I feel like recording today, so I may record something later on, probably more so an IGTV type of thing. So I'm about to shower, I'm about to get dressed, I'm gonna put on this little romper. I've had this romper for years, you guys, guys, but I still, I can't wear soap in my hair. I can't leave it alone. So this romper is from Forever 21. I got it years ago. I still love it. It's kind of short. But I love it. You have to dress it up. Oh, and today I'm going to use my Dragon's Aroma Perfume Oil right here. This is in the scent Cloud 9. So let me get prepared to record. why you need to keep your stuff where you originally had it at i moved my monitor under my desk because i wanted it to be closer but i used to keep it in, in my closet somehow oil then got in my monitor and now it's like it's inside and it's like yellow over there see and it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mess up anything but now it makes my perception off like oh my gosh keep your stuff where you originally had it that was the best place to begin with so I was looking to buy the same monitor again, but they actually don't have this monitor that I'm using right now. They don't have it in stock or available. So I found another one. So I'm gonna buy this one. I don't remember how much I paid for the last one. I'm about to buy this one. It's just so sad. But honestly, you guys, what am I supposed to do with this? Like, I can't, like, I can see. I used to be able to see way better on my monitor. Even this video is gonna be hard to record because this is just not look good it probably looks better on camera but it looks really bad in person 
I'm tired of buying stuff on Amazon. $67. So, okay, I'm about to record now. I'll see y'all when I'm done. All right, y'all, so I just got done doing my makeup and the makeup came out super, super cute, as you can tell. Honey, we just pop in. This makeup came out so good and I also went outside to take pictures and the makeup still looked really, really good. But um, the video came out super, super good, so I need to edit that video tonight or tomorrow. And I also recorded a how I take my own IG pics and how I edit that um, and how I edit them. So I also um, recorded that video. But yeah, so this is basically my son. I think my mom is cooking right now, so we're probably gonna eat a little bit later. But yeah, this is basically my Sunday. Yeah, I mean, this is basically the end of the vlog, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this week's or this weekend's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give this vlog a thumbs up. Make sure you forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me. Being to Lisa, join the gang, gang, gang. And I'll see you tomorrow again next week. Hopefully, we do something a little bit more exciting. And hopefully we can get out this quarantine super soon too. So I'll see you tomorrow next week in next week's vlog. Bye y'all.